maybe in this generation, but it go all the way back to slavery time. And before then, with the Egyptians and the Moors, a long line of selling pussy. I'm not the first one. My auntie, my mama don't like me saying her name in my interviews. Grandmama, great grandmama, great 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 grandmama. So was any of them in a $40 line? $40? First of all, I come from a long line of tricks and hoes. Yeah, you, what, what's the eyebrow thing? I come from a long line of hoes. I'm not the first one, maybe in this generation, but it go all the way back to slavery time. And before then, with the e Egyptians and the Moors, a long line of selling pussy. I'm not the And young black women are listening to her, Meg the Stallion, um, Cardi B, who's not even black, and all these so-called star artists who are telling you to hold yourself, basically. Now, they may not be the owners of the record labels, and she has even gone on record to say that she had to sell her soul to the devil um, when she signed her contract because basically she's no longer responsible for what she does. They make her do certain things. And yes, it's maybe black men who are behind this to sully the image of the black woman, making her look like a whole making her uh, put out this whole image to younger black women so then they can repeat that and think that this is what they have to do to be successful and appealing. So who are, it doesn't matter who's behind it. These women are actively participating in it, knowing the damage that this kind of behavior has on the people who are watching them the young women who are watching them there's some new uh, young artist out here talking about her her pea pink and her booty hole brown or some crap i'll find it one day but i i, I can't i can't i can't y'all got to realize what's going on y'all sitting here uh, cheering up Meg the Stallion, cheer, cheering up Osukiana, cheering up that uh, Pound Town woman. And basically, they are leading you down a path of destruction.